uh, Nat Field, Nathan Field, is about 12 years old, and he gets recruited into a um, boys' troop, theater troop, and um, they are going from the U.S., it's a U.S. boys' troop, to London to play in a uh, rebuilt Globe Theater, which was William Shakespeare's theater 400 years earlier. And um, he's going to play the character of Puck. Um, and Puck is a, just this sprightly little fairy creature who is very mischievous, not at all human, just, oh, that's funny, let's do that. And, um, but he's this, he's the servant of the King of Shadows, who is the, the king of the fairies. And... Um, they go to England, they're going to be gone for two months, but they go to England, they stay with host families, they practice out of the theater, in the theater, just the whole thing. And he's, he knows his part very well and he knows how the director likes it. And anyway, one night he goes back to his home, ho uh, host family and he's just horribly sick, diarrhea, puking, fever. He's just absolutely miserable. And um, he goes to bed, and when he wakes up, he very quickly figures out he's not in the year 1999 anymore. He's 400 years in the past, 1599, when the Globe Theater was built brand new for William Shakespeare's plays. And um, he's... So he figured out he's traded places with another boy, another Nat Field, and um, he's going to be playing Puck for William Shakespeare himself. They're doing a special play, one time showing of Midsummer Night's Dream, and in that, so he starts learning that, and he starts learning the way William Shakespeare wants it, and how they did it at that time, and him and William Shakespeare form a very strong bond very quickly. Nat lost his father, William lost his son, and they just find this father-son relationship uh, works very well for them. It works for the characters in their play, uh, it makes them work well together in, on stage, but they just find this, this bonded, bonding relationship very easily and very quickly grow a very strong kind of father-son type of relationship. And when it comes time for Nat Field to go back to where he was borrowed from, because um, he was only there for the one play, he's he's just terribly distraught at the idea of leaving William Shakespeare, this the second father that he's found. And William tells him, you can come back anytime you want. You will always have a home with me. It doesn't matter how old you are, you are always welcome to come back to me. So he goes to bed that night, and when he wakes up, uh, he's back in the year 1999. He's waking, he's woken up in the hospital. He's being discharged because apparently, past Na the past Nathan Field was sent to the future, and he had bubonic plague, and he spent the last week in the hospital recovering. But anyway, he gets discharged, and he goes back to the play. And he goes back to rehearsals and he is very angry that now he's lost two father figures in his life. And he's just, just very angry, sad, grieving the fact that he's lost both of his fathers now. Until he has several very angry outbursts and the director pulls him inside and says, I know what happened to you. And I just want you to know that William never forgot about you. He wrote you into another one of his plays, which was The Tempest. In The Tempest, uh, there's a this wizard on a mountain who has a sprite servant named Ariel. And Nat remembers William Shakespeare calling him his Ariel sprite. And um, he, he finds the sonnet that William Shakespeare gave him a copy of about love and how it's an ever fixed mark and meaning no matter uh, if the person is there 
or not dead or alive, it doesn't change the fact that there was love.